and once again welcome back to the maths class today we are going to learn a new topic multiplication you have learned addition you have learned subtraction let us learn multiplication today you have already learned multiplication table you know this is 2 multiplied by 5 this is the sign of multiplication we read it as 2 pi zar 10 you know the table of two children 2 pi zar 10 now i said multiplication is repeated addition of the same number 2 pi how many pi 2 pi so 5 plus 5 1 5 2 5 2 5 zar 10 as i told you multiplication is repeated addition of the same number here the same number is added same number 5 is we are adding two times so 5 plus 5 is 10 or we say 2 fives are 10 now look at another example 4 multiplied by 2 Four twos are. You know the table of four. Four twos are eight. I said repeated addition of the same number. So four twos. How many twos? Four twos. One two, two two, three two, four two. So two plus two plus two plus two is also eight. So four twos are eight. Did you understand? so multiplication is repeated addition of the same number this multiplication you can write in repeated addition form here it is multiplication sign this is multiplication form here we are giving addition sign this is repeated addition form so if you are told to write write in repeated addition form repeated addition form so this is multiplication sign it is two fives how many fives two fives we will write one five plus another five two fives are 10 this is repeated addition form three fours how many fours three fours one four two four three four So four plus four plus four is equal to twelve. Three fours are twelve. This is the way to write in repeated addition form. You can also write in multiplication form. Suppose I have written here one plus one plus one plus one. One one two one three one four one. So it is four ones. Four times one. Four ones are four. Five plus five plus five, one five, two five, three five. So we write three times five, three fives are fifteen. So when you are told to write in multiplication form, you will write using multiplication sign. When you are told to write in repeated addition form, you will write using addition sign. Is it clear, children? now let us learn some other facts related to multiplication here we are multiplying 3 and 4 the numbers which we multiply are called factors so here 3 and 4 are the factors answer we are getting as 12 so here answer of multiplication is called product so you will remember numbers which we multiply are called factors answer of multiplication is called product now when we multiply a number by zero the product is always zero 
7 multiplied by 0 is 0. Why? 7, 0. How many zeros? 7, 0. 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0. If you add 7, 0, 0 means what? Nothing. If you add 7, 0, you will get 0. If you add 100 zeros, you will get 0. So when we multiply by 0, the product is 0. 9 zeros are 0. 100 zeros are 0. 500 zeros are 0. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0. When we multiply a number by 1, 5 ones are. When we multiply by 1, the product is the same number. 5 ones are 5. 5 ones. How many ones? 5 ones. 1 ones, 2 ones, 3 ones, 4 ones, 5 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 ones are 5. Any number multiplied by 1, product is the same number. 5 ones are 5. 10 ones are 10. 100 ones are 100. Is it clear? Change in order of factors does not change the product. 7, 2's are 14. Here, 7 and 2 are the factors. We will change the order. We will change their place. 7, 2's are will become 2, 7's are. 7, 2's are 14. 2, 7's are also 14. So change in order of factors does not change the product. So we can say that 7 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 7. Let us see another example. 5, 3's are 15. Here the factors are 5 and 3. We will change the order. 3, 5's are also 15. So 5, 3's are 15, 3, 5's are 15. We can say that 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5. So change in order of factors does not change the product. So all of you have understood? When we multiply by 0, we get 0. When we multiply by 1, we get the same number. And when we change the order of factors, the product does not change. So now I hope that you have understood multiplication and its properties. So children, now you practice all these points well.